actions let developers integrate Google Assistant into their Android app and enable end users to launch apps with their voice. App actions can make it easier and faster for users to complete tasks in your app. For example, for a food ordering app, you could use app actions to say, hey Google, order a pizza on example app, to open the application and start customizing their pizza order. To implement app actions, you'll need to use capabilities and static shortcuts from the Android framework to link your app to Google Assistant. Let's go over what capabilities and static shortcuts are in the context of app actions. Capabilities are a feature of the Android platform which acts as templates for user requests to launch an app and to execute a task within the app. For app actions, a capability consists of a built-in intent and the target destination in your app that fulfills the user request. Built-in intents, or BIIs for short, are predefined triggers that tell Google Assistant what kind of voice queries are supported by your app. For the example earlier of ordering a pizza, this particular capability is using the order menu item built-in intent. This BII supports queries that initiate an order for a specified menu item or initiate an order from a restaurant. Now that Assistant knows how to trigger your capability, you'll need to provide instructions on how to fulfill the user's request. We recommend using the Android intent that will launch to the part of the app to start completing the user's request. Deep link URLs are also supported as an option to fulfill user requests. Each BII contains fields which become parameters in your capabilities. These parameters are the values that Google Assistant pulls out from the user's speech based on the language patterns defined by the BII. In the ordering pizza example, the order menu item BII contains a field called menu item dot name. In the capability, we can capture the parameter name to be menu. That way, when the Android intent is triggered in extras, the parameter item will have the value of pizza. Once you have a capability defined, you can extend the functionality of that capability with static shortcuts. You can think of static shortcuts as an instance of a capability with some of its parameters having predefined values. Shortcuts can be used to provide assistant clues about specific words to look for in the user input that match to BII parameters. This minimizes the need for the Android application to handle all variations of user word choice. For example, if you have a pizzeria and are using the order menu item BII, your customers might use slightly different words to request the same item. A Neapolitan crust pizza might be expressed as thin crust pizza using shortcuts. Shortcuts are also great for situations when users leave out information or assume your application already contains that information. If your app uses the Create Taxi Reservation BII, a user might say, hey Google, order me a ride home from example app. Home isn't a specific address, but with shortcuts, you can have your Android app handle that correctly by passing home as a token. Your app can then resolve the user request successfully. These types of shortcuts are called static shortcuts, and they are ingested by Assistant when you upload a release to Google Play Console. Static shortcuts are most useful to highlight common activities and content that are supported for all users in your app's current version. By implementing app actions using capabilities and shortcuts, your users can get to a specific state within your application using only their voice. Check out the docs and resources below to get started using capabilities and shortcuts. You can also join our dev community on Reddit, where you can chat with other actions on Google developers, and stay up to date by following us on Twitter. Thanks for watching.